probably under the lights the piss starts to become a bit, uh, I can start to smell it. Well, okay, what, what is actually health? So if you ask people what it is, yeah, it's not so easy to answer actually. Our whole, uh, let's say, healthcare system is based on fighting diseases. So we can only do something when you have a disease. What would be much more interesting, of course, is to uh, yeah, maintain your health and, uh, yeah. But for, for doing that, for maintaining your health, you need somehow to measure also your health, your health status. So it is very nice if there will be uh, yeah, tools available for everyone that you can get, get some indication of your own health. Urine as a, as a method of analysis is kind of nothing new. Uh, this is a famous painting from the Rijksmuseum uh, by uh, Gerard Dau, um, which shows a piss kijker. Back in medieval times, they would be able to differentiate up to 20 different shades of urine, uh, even tasting, uh, smelling it, uh, and yeah, basically managing to derive information from this. Really, the focus for the evening is kind of taking this principle one step further and looking at how we might be able to create much more low-tech devices to understand what the compounds on the body are. Wait till you see your urine. <laughs> How many liters of urine do we have? We take of that kind. Yeah. <laughs> Why is one pole now negative and the other pole positive? There's, there's two different metals there. These are two different metals. Yeah, this is this is zinc and this is copper. <laughs> you have to put vinegar in this. Voltage goes up. Awesome. Yeah, we are at one volt. One volt right now. We should also um, make one, one, one big battery of urine to see the difference between urine and uh, water with vinegar. Maakt het uit hoeveel contact we hebben? Ah, ja. 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 maar heel weinig verschil. Ja, zo zie je uit. Ja. Zodra er een paar beter licht in de ruimte. Zo zie je aan. Nee, is toch een verschil, hè? Toch een verschil. There it goes. It's our sort of per workspace, so it's <laughs> I'm sorry if I spill way on your floor, on your workspace. Uh, so, did we pee enough? It's still warm. Oh, it's still warm. The experiment is that now we're, this is the first time we're actually putting, we're putting actual urine to the test. The, the slightly warm yellow stuff. In case I spill it? Well, let me just get my wine. <laughs> That's a little too funky for me. <laughs> Put the cables through in the end because we have to glue it this way. Uh, or it could be the lens is put. Yeah. So you need to cover the lens for that. Really. And what is the lens made of? Uh, it's actually a, it's a broken CD. But it's interesting to try various samples of urine and take a take a spectral image of them, and we can start to compare them and try to see what differences. Particularly if you know. For example, what it was you ate earlier, and relate this kind of information to it. Then there's something to really compare on a broader level, and we can we can try taking images from individual to individual, and also from what they what the urine sample was before dinner and after dinner. So we have the urine here and the light source for my camera. So did you do the track? You donated your data to science. Can we get track of That's mine. Okay. Yeah, this so is, uh, this is really exciting. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe there's like a label on it. It's, it's gonna be. Uh, it's a light. Can we lift it maybe a bit? <laughs> maybe we can just go through the oh, side of it. Maybe we can go underneath. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that looks very healthy. It's not working. Just seeing really bright. Okay. Okay. Ah, sommige zijn niet helemaal gezond, denk ik. Als ik het zo zie, zijn die allemaal even gezond, volgens mij. Kijk, wil je nog even die kook laten zien? Die ene met kook, ja. Als je deze kijkt, dan is het Mijn voorstel is het proeven. De urine. De spectroscope seems to be working quite well. I think we probably after the break need to 
create a slightly more uh, organized experiment, let's say, so we can have a more like fixed platform for changing samples in controlled uh, situation so we can get more um, quantifiable and uh, contrasting results. Because at least in our experience with Aquavita, the thing that was interesting was not so much the hardcore data itself, but, but more like the, the fluctuations over time and how you come to understand it. How many people didn't take a second sample? Well, we have uh, found we found an app for that, and uh, it will make wow. a, it will make a graph of your pee. Oh. You see the blue one? The blue spectrum is getting is missing. It's missing completely. What does it mean? Because it, it appears more acid in the second one. And from what? Let's see here. like the spectrum, is that freely available? Yeah, this is online. How many, which samples have you tested? Because I think we should take the ones you've done over there and also get them. <laughs> but is it, is this, this what, is, is this sample two. mark? Okay. This is one. I'm wondering if we could test these samples, because then they've been through the spectro spectrometer. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do it. And then, uh, Oh, you do it like that? Yeah. You dirty guy. <laughs> Man, oh God. This is my piss. <laughs> this is supposed to be Sample terrible. number one, sample number two. Bon appétit. <laughs> so, we are above 1.8, which is quite high compared to you. 1.86. Okay. Changing Yeah, we're trying to move it. Well, it's like 1.7. Yeah. But that's that's funny because like in the space of an hour and a half, there's point not one of a volt difference between the two. Okay. I guess we can do the other one as well. Then we have something to contrast it with. This is uh, Vika's first sample, and that would be her second. And this would be Thomas's first sample. Maybe we can do it. Vika, could you could like explain a little bit about what you ate? <laughs> I ate a salad with cucumber and mozzarella and tomato and some bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I ate actually. And what did you drink? Water. 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 No, and a glass of wine. Some wine. Yeah. Some no, I guess I did have a lot of coffee and wine. Or something like yeah, actually, like well, some of, some of the... It's a myth, but yes. Well, certainly in the colour of the urine, it's pretty obvious, I think. Yeah, and I think also from the image you can see quite a drastic uh, change.